Hey folks, John Peterson here, and today I've got a quick tip for you in Lightroom. Now, I don't know if you're one of those people that uses the tone curve feature in Lightroom. Some people just use the contrast or the white in the back, black sliders up in the basic panel. But if you use the tone curve, I've got a great tip for you. Adobe released, uh, I think, a year, little over a year ago, this upgrade into Lightroom and a lot of people haven't noticed this little unique slider that helps us manage our color saturation when we use the tone curve. If you ever notice, sometimes when you push the tone curve, even just make small adjustments in the tone curve, it tends to boost the saturation. Now, you can go back in and play with the saturation sliders and do some other funky stuff to try to adjust it. But Adobe put in this slider that sort of mimics the blend modes that we have in Photoshop. And if you're familiar with Photoshop and blend modes, you know there's ways that we can manage this excess saturation that happens when we add contrast to the image. But let's just jump right into Lightroom and I'll give you a quick little tour of this new feature. Now, currently I am using Lightroom version 14.1.1. I believe this was introduced in one of the 12 dot series of Lightroom Classic. So it's been out for a little while. And if you don't see this refined saturation slider, double check that you're running a current version of Lightroom. If you're not, go into your cloud applications and do an update and see if you can get this refined saturation to appear. All right, here we go. And here's just an unedited image that I took in the Eastern Sierras last year. And it needs a little punch. It needs a little contrast. And so I want to go ahead and use the tone curve to do that. You know, and I could use just the contrast slider. I could use um, whites and black sliders if I wanted to. But let's let's go down and look at the tone curve. And sometimes I like using the tone curve because I can add points along this line just by single clicking on this line. Points where I want to adjust the image based upon the histogram. So if I want to lower my darks and raise my lights it adds contrast to the image and it gets punchy which is which is kind of what I wanted I wanted to bring some energy to the photograph but notice the yellows when I did that the saturation of these yellows increased dramatically and they increased in a way where I didn't have control over them. If I'm going to adjust my yellows, I want to have control by using the color mixer right down here. So what Adobe has is this refined saturation slider. You see it right here under the tone curve. And what this does is that it helps manage the saturation shift that occurs when you add or make an adjustment on the tone curve. So there's zero saturation boost, there's a moderate amount, and that's the full amount. So by using this, I can negate any undue saturation shifts that happen when I add contrast into my photograph. And then I'm free to adjust color as I want through my color mixer here. All right, there you go. Quick little tip, refine saturation when using the tone curve. Hope you found this helpful. If you like this video, uh, feel free to check out the rest of the videos on my channel. If you like it, please feel free to subscribe, tickle the bell, hit the like button, do all that kind of stuff you know how to do. All right, folks, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.